Should I show you the next one? This book, this book, ended up costing 1738 Canadian. Okay, graded very good. Jack Kirby with Steve Ditko. Okay, Monster Craft Classic. And this is a reprint of some of the monster, older monster comics. Fear number one. And graded it very good, I believe. Right? Graded it very good. Yeah, graded it very good. Okay. And this is like a like a thick, thick comic. So it prints a lot of monster stories from Steve Ditko, Jack Kirby, and whoever else, right? From like 1950s. And this thing came out in 19, uh, when did it come out? 1970, right? 1970, it probably has some stuff, monster stuff from 1960s as well. But I think most of the reprint stuff is from the 19, uh, 50, 1960s. Most of the reprint stuff is from the 1950s. Okay, so fear number one, 1750, let's say Canadian, which is around like 13, $13 US, which is a great deal, which is a great deal. Graded it very good. Okay, graded it very good. Crunchy asparagus. I won't. I won't disturb and go away, sir. My intention was politics, but we are in deep shit. Anyways, let's leave it for another time. Uh, Crunchy asparagus. Have an amazing day. Have an amazing day. But we got a couple more things to show. Three more things to show, and then we can talk about politics. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Beautiful. Now. Let me show you this. Let me show you this. I'm going to show you a couple of I've got four more items to go through. Okay, four more items. I am the man who will destroy your world. Nice. Sleepy waves. How are you doing on sensor two? I've missed your streams. When are you doing a personal finance stream? I, I don't know. I haven't I haven't thought about it too much. We can talk about it in any open discussion. Check this out. A mini poster. A mini poster okay I paid a nice fair chunk for this but it was still a good price as far as I'm concerned we paid $25.99 so $26 Canadian for this okay short story in that comic water rocks okay thank you very much in the fear comic I am the man who will destroy your world so this one $26 Canadian mini poster that you could have probably picked up for free at the time when it came out and this thing came out in uh, da, 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 1984 okay it's from one of my favorite artists one of my favorite artists elder god you're gonna love this it's from one of my favorite artists ready ready this has got to do a reveal this has got to be a reveal right the artist you've seen comic books that i've bought with his covers okay and some people were coming up and going oh chicho that's a little spicy right it's dave stevens right dave stevens ready 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 wow wow oh wow oh wow oh wow 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 oh my oh my someone opened the door to a photo shoot of betty page oh <laughs> nice and dave stevens gang dave stevens is the prices of comics for dave stevens are going through the roof right those comics that we did comic book hauls like a year or two years ago that we bought for i don't know 50 bucks 60 bucks they're going for 200 to 300 dollars right now or 150 150 to 250 depending on the grade take a look what does that say whoop what's the meaning of this who are you well i am chicho <laughs> and i just opened the door to betty page's photo shoot <sighs> naked photo shoot right beautiful beautiful dave stevens you make us happy rest in peace 
Rest in peace. Right? Alagos says, beautiful. Beautiful indeed. Beautiful indeed. Okay. <laughs> and the, the guy I picked this up from, the, I'm going to frame this. I'm going to frame this. Right? Uh, the guy I picked this up from, the comic book store owner, he said he met Dave Stevens. And he said, true to form, classic. He saw him at a convention. And I think it was a convention or a gathering. And he had two girls, one girl in each arm. And one of them was, a, was like a copy of Betty Page that could have been. <laughs> that could have been the model for this. Okay. So very happy to have this. Very happy to have this. This needs to get framed and remain in the frame for for a long time. For a long time. Now, check this one out. Original art. Original art. Okay. Amazing price. Amazing price. From 1971. Okay. Ed Dodd's comic strip, Mark Trail's original comic art. Okay. Ended up paying 1850 Canadian for this. That's like three thirteen dollars and fifty cents. Okay. Check this out. I I didn't, you know, Mark Dodd is uh, or Ed Dodd is not someone that was on my radar, right? No, I got it from eBay. Gigadra. I got it from eBay. Check this out. Original art, the comic strip. And this was the comic strip he's famous for, which is Mark, uh, what's it called? Mark Trail. Mark Trail. This fox has been chased and run down by those snowmobiles. Oh, bastards. Poor little fella. I think he's the one I've been trying to feed. Oh. We'll put him on the sled and I'll bury him in a thicket of spruce trees I planted some years ago. Right. And then to dear, Ka I don't know what that name is, Kali, I guess? Best wishes, Ed Dodd right and then this appeared on monday uh, month would be january february march march 15th 1971 okay. and he's got check this out he's got mark trail there and the writing back here right at dot mark trail Super cool, fantastic price. I'm gonna put this with my original art collection, right? Very cool, very cool. Very cool, very cool. Now, two more things left. This is so neat, congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. What's the hood? Now, check this out. This is in the comic book world, they, an art world, really, in general, uh, artists put out portfolios that are signed and numbered and stuff like this. So this is the portfolio. UK people, you're going to love this. This is a portfolio of uh, King Arthur portfolio by Byrne Hogarth, 1983, signed and numbered. Uh, and the numbering is... 557 out of 1500 graded at very fine near mint ended up paying 44 dollars and 44 cents for this right and it's got six pieces in there so i'm going to show them to you guys okay beautiful artwork by the way beautiful artwork all of it king arthur ellie god <laughs> Right? Super cool. And then the artwork. Check this out. Burn Hogarth. Let me do this. 
volume one is copyright 1983 by Bern Hogarth all rights reserved reserved published by ba -ba 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 -boom, right and on the back it's got you know the six portfolio pieces on there right well, we're going to take a look at that And these are like in near mint condition. Sign the number, check it out, down here, 557 out of 1500, and sign down here. Right. So let me show you these. Like so much detail in this, it's crazy. Random moose brains, how are you doing? Beautiful. Nostalgia, 110. What I love about you, Chicho, is that although you're not religious, you don't let that bias you in terms of your positive analysis of Iran. Many Iranians bash Iran because of the be being against the yeah, Because people are, you know, what are they called? So it's signed in the portfolios. It's usually signed just the first one, okay? And then the rest of the images are not signed. Check this out. Beautiful. I don't know if I'm, I'm going to be framing these ones. No, the odds are I won't be framing these ones. I have a few things in uh, in the queue to frame, so uh, maybe I will someday. But I don't have plans for it right now. If I have more walls in the house, yeah, maybe. But right now I'm limited on the amount of walls I have in my house. But these are beautiful, right? Very beautiful. And it's a reasonable price that I paid for this. Okay. Look at this one. Plate five. This is Britain. I recently bought an original signed drawing by Chris Cosby, the artist of Su Superiority Comic and the founder of Keen Spot Web Comic. Cool. You can pick up some original art at a really good price. That <laughs> sounds meowing. He's like, give me liver. Chicho, I know you're busy, but give me liver. And here's the sixth plate. Okay. Like, look at this. Beautiful. Zare. Chicho, get more walls from eBay. I know it. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> No, Salio, you gotta wait. I wish I could buy stuff. Gigadra says like this. I'm house poor now. Oh, I've gone through periods. I'm Brooks. Nice. Yeah, very nice. Very nice. I've gone through serious broke, broke times in my life. Right? Okay, let me put these in order and then put it back in the... in its case. And then I'll show you the next one. And the next one is a portfolio as well. Okay. Next one is a portfolio as well. So 
$44 for this, right? Fair value, I think. Some I've seen some go for higher, like I checked. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, the uh, eBay's uh, previous sold stuff. And then check this one out. This is portfolio. Check it out. Alric. This is this one was the most expensive. Okay. This one cost me sixty-six dollars and sixty-six cents. Elric portfolio by Howard Chaikin, Chaikin 1976. Signed and numbered 264 out of 1,000. Graded very fine near mint. And Howard, uh, I don't know how to pronounce his name. Uh, Chicken, Chicken, uh, Howard Chalkin, I, I usually uh, say 660. Yeah. Howard Chalkin, he did American flag. And American flag is really good, right? So this is his portfolio, right? For Eric. Sal, come here. Come on. Come on, come on, he's coming over. I'm gonna pick him up. Come on, come here. What you doing? What you meowing for? He's like a dog, I call him over, he comes over sometimes. Here's Sally, last time we showed you guys Via, but here's Sal, hi. What you want, I know you want liver. Look at him, yeah, yeah, what is it? You doing okay? I know. After I show this portfolio, I'll come and give you a liver, okay? <laughs> Alaric, nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very good. Very happy with this. Check it out. Take a look. Boop. Yeah, you gotta wait. I know. Very nice. like another folder for it and here are the plates right here's plate one and I sign numbered here check it out 264 out of 1000 nice very unique style very unique style I like his work Here's the certificate. Check it out. Right? Certificate of authenticity. Steve Jen Allen, Vice President. 1976. Cool. Check out this plate. Beautiful. Controller Zen, how are you doing? Nice. Plate three. Sword and sorcery. The other one was a lot of detail, right? This one's sort of minimalist, right? I don't know minimalist, but I don't know what kind of style you call this. Uh, but it's it's not as much, right, going on. Going to frame any of these? Maybe. If I get enough walls. The czar is telling me to buy walls off eBay. <laughs> Peanut butter pumpkin party, what are you doing? Still loving my war. 
on drugs got car chicho awesome thanks for all you do for the community and ladies and gentlemen don't forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange the publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity something that we desperately desperately need in our societies for more information see wikileaks.org candlesforassange.com or countless resources available on free speech platforms if these were the medieval times Assange would be a knight for the people right beautiful Very nice, very nice artwork. Really like it. Beautiful. Very nice. Let me put these back in order. And that's our comic book haul. This one was the most expensive, right? The portfolios were the most expensive. Right? There were over a hundred bucks for the portfolios. And then we had a couple of comic books that were, well, the poster. The poster was the third most expensive. The poster, so good, so good. Uh, and then we had uh, a couple of comic books uh, that were mid-range price. And then we had our reader copies of things, which is great. Nice. There are hardcore portfolio collectors out there. I, I've known some of them. They very much love collecting their portfolios. Okay. These are the first. I might have another portfolio of someone else before, but these are the only two portfolios that I have. I uh, just like the artwork. I like, uh, uh, what do you call it? King Arthur and sword and sorcery and dragon stuff. So it was good. Controller Zen, do you take extra measures to make sure the humidity doesn't get uh, the better of your stuff? Um, I just sort of like my space to be a certain humidity and temperature. So I try to keep it that way. Like I don't, I don't have, uh, I do have actually humidity temperature gauge near the comics. But I rarely check it because I can just tell what's good. Uh, what's good for me is what's good for the comics in general, right? And this is Britain. Your cat looks like he has uh, manners. Yeah, mine just farted in my face and looked at me like I was not worth it, worthy of it. Hilarious. Our kitty cats, they're awesome. But they're sh they do shed. They do shed. For the first six months, they didn't shed, and then they started shedding. And the little buggers... Are on the dirtier side. They like taking their food and eating them at random places. <laughs> like, <laughs> so, gang, that's our comic book haul. I hope I hope you like. I thought it was fantastic. Very happy to have these. Very happy to have these. I'm gonna put the original art with um, the original art stuff that I have, as well as the portfolios uh, and the poster. I'm gonna try to find a frame to uh, put Dave Stevens in. Super super happy about it. Oh, look at your high ceiling should help the comments. Yeah, good airflow. Good airflow, right? Good airflow. Fun, fun, fun. Good comic book haul. Dying to do comic book haul. And we did one. Very nice, very nice.